Today I'm going to speak about MOLITOV, which stands for Matrix Assisted Laser Desorption Ionization Time of Flight Mass Spectrometry. It is a soft ionization technique used for analysis of large fragile biomolecules such as proteins, peptides, sugars, polymers, and dendrimers. The ionization is triggered by a laser, normally a nitrogen laser. A matrix is used to protect a biomolecule from being destroyed by direct laser beam and to facilitate vaporization and ionization. The term matrix assisted laser desorption ionization was coined in 1985 by Franz Hillenkamp, Michael Karras, and their colleagues. Some variants of MALDITOV are MALDI-R, LTQ Orbitrail, QTOF Micro, and every Voyager Depot. The components of a mass spectrometer consist of the sample or matrix drive on multi-plate, the sample inlet, iron source, mass analyzer, iron detector, and a digitizer or data system. The sample is vaporized and ionized. Subsequently, Mass sorting of ions takes place through the mass analyzer and the detection of ions is done with the help of an ion detector. The digitizer or data system gives the output in the form of a big A simple representation of a multi consists of six components. These are a laser, a focusing lens, sample plate, a means to accelerate ions, an ion detector, and a data system to generate peaks. The time of flight mass analyzer consists of three components. They are ion source, flight tube, and ion detector. In the time of flight mass analyzer, vacuum is created and a potential of 20 to 25 kilovolt is applied on the sample plate containing the sample or matrix. As a result, the sample vaporizes. Now it's dropping the flight towards the ion detector. The principle involved in the time of flight mass analyzer is that if ions are accelerated at the same potential at a fixed point and fixed initial time and are allowed to drift, the ions will separate according to the charge to mass ratios. The lighter ions travel faster and reach the detector earlier than the heavy ones. This time flight can be converted to mass. The ions reach the cross of the detector where a high potential of 1000 volt is supplied across the plates. 
As a result, the ion bounces from one plane to another. This signal is amplified to about 1000 times and peaks are generated as output. A high current detector in linear mode consists of five components. It is a, a micro channel pad, a scintillator, a lens, a photo multiplier tube, and a digitizer. The ion supply tube passes to the micro channel pad, a scintillator, and the image so produced is magnified through the lens and photo multiplier tube. The signal produces useful generating peaks at Sample preparation is a crucial step in the multi process. Sample preparation can be started with 2D base. The protein is extracted from the root sample. It is then grinded well with acetone and centrifuge and stored at minus 80 degrees centigrade. Store samples are prepared for lyophilization. The tubes are covered with paraffin seed and pores are being made for lyophilization. The tubes are then transferred to the lyophilizer. The lyophilized sample powder is then suspended into 200 microliter of the lysis buffer. The protein is then quantified using bread for assay. Steps involved are selection of gel percentage, selection of gel thickness, preparation of gel solution, equilibration of the IPG strips, the prepared gel solution is poured into the gel cassette, is left for one hour for complete polymerization. The IPG strip is placed on top of the SDS gel and is overlaid with 2 ml of agarose solution. The procedure is repeated for the remaining IPG strip. The slab gel apparatus is connected to the circulating water pot and temperature is adjusted at 4 degrees centigrade. The gel is run at constant current. The electrophoresis is stopped when the diaphragm is about 1 mm from the bottom of the gel. The gel is then removed from the gel cassette and is transferred into the fixative solution. The gel is then washed with washing buffer that is 30% ethanol and 70% deionized water. It is then treated with sensitizer for one minute. It is impregnated with silver nitrate reagent for 30 to 60 minutes. 
image is developed using the developer for 10 to 20 minutes It is treated with a stop of five minutes. The protein on the gel are detected as distinct spots which can be assigned X and Y coordinates according to the isoelectric point and molecular weight respectively. The protein of interest can then be identified. This protein can be made to undergo proteolytic cleavage or it is otherwise mixed with a matrix to be loaded in the sample plate. The matrix consists of crystallized molecules of which the three most commonly used are 3 5 dimethoxy 4 hydroxycinamic acid or synapinic acid, alpha cyano 4 hydroxycinamic acid or alpha cyano, and 2 5 dihydroxybenzoic acid. A solution of one of these molecules is made often in a mixture of highly purified water and an organic solvent, normally acetonitrile or ethanol. Trifluoroacetic acid may also be added. Berlin. The multi-tool process is a two-phase procedure. Initially, the sample is fixed on a crystalline matrix and bombarded by a laser. Sample molecule vaporizes into a vacuum and are being ionized at the same time. High voltage is then applied to accelerate the charged particles. The second step is the time of flight mass spectrometry phase. In the linear mode, particles would impinge on the ion detector within a few nanoseconds after ionization. Higher mass molecules will arrive later than the lighter ones. Flight time measurement makes it possible to measure molecular mass directly. This peak and the spectrum corresponds to the specific mass of the element along the time axis starting from the analysis moment. gel electrophoresis and chromatography techniques. It is also used to characterize glycoproteins. Recently, the method was also successfully applied to DNA sequencing, screening for mutations, and identifying different strains of virus to help develop vaccines. Other applications of Molitov include sequencing DNA or oligos with sequaza, generation of peptide mass maps of digestive proteins, measuring molecular weight distribution of polymer, and mutation detection via pinpoint assay.